Right guys, so it's time to show you the pocket stove cooker which I've got. This Ulster badge, I sold it on myself because I also got the sewing machine. And I got to admit, buying a sewing machine is one of the best investments I've done. But anyway, if I sound a little bit muffled guys, it's because I've got uh, my new bike mask on. Because it's a little bit cold, you know when your nose gets cold and runny. So I've put my little uh, bike mask on in order to uh, warm my face back up. But anyway, as you can see, this is the stove itself. And, you know, it comes like this. And it comes in a little pouch, as you can see. Obviously, you don't get the badge because I sold the badge on. So, let's put that over there. So this is basically a survival stove. It's a bushcraft stove. Now... Us bushcrafters, we know about the Triangle stove and the Swedish Army, you know, uh, cook set and stuff like that. But, you know, I wanted something lighter because I've been carrying too much weight when I'm out in the boys. And this stove here appears to be exactly what it is I wanted, you know. So, let, let's do it. One thing I've learnt about this stove is that if you want to use it with alcohol, you need to put this section in, okay? And in order to do that, you've got to ensure that the square, this side here, you've got to ensure that the square is on the right-hand side. Otherwise, it won't fit. Don't ask me why, but it's just the way it is. So, you put alcohol... Uh, container there and you put in that slit and then you put in this slit as you can guess it may be a little bit fiddly for some people but I can tell you now if you do it the wrong way then it's very fiddly indeed but there you go as you can see it is now let me see if I can get a better light on this uh, subject so as you can see it is now set up ready for alcohol you can use this section here, okay, the grid section, and that's basically if you want to use trigs instead, so you could feed trigs in there instead of using alcohol like I'm going to use. Now, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to fill this up with uh, some methylated spirit alcohol, and hopefully, you're seeing this on the camera, so, I'm going to stop there, because I think it was spilling a little bit there. But what I'm going to do now, basically, is I'm just going to light it. And there you go, guys. How cool is that? Now, i got to admit, this pocket stove I absolutely love is absolutely awesome. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to... Get some water on the boil because I am going to have a pot noodle in order to heat up. Let's get this darn lid off. So, as you can see here, we put this on like that. And then we get our water. One sec. Open the lid. And we pour our water in. And if you fill, if you fill... The Yugoslavian, uh, what to call it, cooker, the uh, pot, pot. If you fill the Yugoslavian pot halfway up, then a fi this filled to the brim will boil this, which is quite cool. So that's like half of the Yugoslavian pot, and this filled to the top with methylated spirits, and it will boil it in basically next to no time. If it's windy, you may find yourself filling this back up again in order to get a rolling boil. But anyway guys, that is basically my that is basically my new pocket stove and my face is starting to warm up now a little bit more. Because you know when you get that horrible runny nose section, but again this uh, bike mask for when I'm cycling, it seems to be doing a trick. So, yeah guys, I'm going to enjoy my pot noodle, which I've got here. I'm going to, and basically it's just warm back up again. 
top tip. When you're using this pocket stove, okay, make sure that you bend the pan handle up like that. Because if you do that, then it stops this from getting onto the fire, so it stops it from getting red hot. But anyway, guys, yeah, that's my pocket stove. So still, and there's no wind, this is basically boiled in next to no time. I've got like half, I've got like maybe even uh, two thirds of this left. And you know, it just means I'm going to be wasting uh, fuel because, quite frankly, I can't extinguish that fire because it's now lit. So what we're going to do, oh, you're still there, put the gloves on, there you go, there you go, you follow me, take the lid off, so as you can see now, put that down there, that is hot, that's very hot, but basically, let's see if you can get in there, let you have a look, but basically I've got to wait now until all that burns off, there's over half of it left. So, I guess, you know, if it was like winter or something like that, you could actually use that to uh, heat the Polish army tent or something like that. I've done that before, and honestly, I'll, I'll tell you one thing, guys, in them Polish army tents, when you light something like that, it is ridiculously hot. You're absolutely roasting, because it just traps the entire heat in with the canvas and it's awesome but again look at that I'm just gonna have to wait I'm just gonna have to wait until that burns off but I'm not gonna cry because I've got my water I've got my pot noodle and that is really hot I'm putting that back down again oh, wow that's really really hot didn't expect it to be that hot so let's go again quickly here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, it's not burning me yet. There we go, I've got enough. Leave that to cool down. Right guys, see you later.